If only security had done their jobs that night, Samoa Joe never would have made it past the arena's metal detector. Sorry, just trying to keep it positive. Which is hard to do because our story wouldn't be complete without talking about one giant negative. I'm referring, of course, to the arrival of the American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun in WWE. Because of Brooklyn, our lives and careers would never be the same. Although if you think about it, they were pretty much the same as they'd always been because no matter where we went or what we accomplished, we could never escape Brooklyn's loud, obnoxious shadow. We gave Brooklyn a lot of chances to prove she had changed. Well, mostly Trey did. But ultimately, she only proved one thing. She was the exact same bully she was way back when we were in high school. And she wasn't just a jerk to us. She disrespected anyone she dealt with, including WWE legends. Is that all you got? It feels like you're taking a teacup poodle for a walk on my back. Excuse me, Miss Von Braun, can we talk? Can't you see I'm conducting important GM business? Come on, I really need you to get in there. Work it. It will only take a minute. What? I don't want my car washed or candy from your stupid kids fundraiser or whatever crap you're selling. Actually, I'm the original American hero, Kurt Angle. You know, the Hall of Famer you borrowed your nickname from without asking. Come back in five with stronger hands. So what do you want? An autograph from the real American hero? A picture? Tell me what I need to do to make you go away. I need you to drop the lawsuit against me. If you don't, it will bankrupt my family. No chance. I'm the way more famous American hero, and I will not allow you to continue profiting off my celebrity. I won a gold medal for my country with a broken freaking neck. What have you ever done that makes you an American hero? Uh, filed a trademark? Security! Wait. Maybe we can settle this without lawyers. If there's anything that could change your mind, I'd do it. Anything? It just so happens we have a superstar who was gone for a very long time and needs to knock off some ring rust. So I'll drop the lawsuit if you can beat Samoa Joe. But Joe's a monster. He's got that bionic arm that could tear me apart. And I haven't competed in years. Samoa Joe hasn't competed in years either, so it should be a competitive match. Good luck. Slam attempt. Joe counters. It's all over. It's Trey. He has no business being out here. Kurt Angle from behind. He got him. Kurt Angle has defeated Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe is livid. I imagine Brooklyn Von Braun isn't going to be too pleased either. Too bad. All that matters is Kurt Angle has got the win. And now he can officially be known again as the American hero. Since you like getting involved in my business so much, maybe you should pay all the legal bills for the lawsuit I have to drop now. Yeah? Well, you messed with us in the best of five series and that cost Red her title. So I'd say we're even now. Is that what you think happened? I signed Samoa Joe because he was unfairly let go from WWE, not to mention he's a great addition to the roster. But I had nothing to do with him costing you the series. I don't control him. No one can. Which is something you should be very worried about. So if you're not out to get us, then prove it. Give me a rematch for my championship that I lost without ever being pinned. Let me think about that. No. That's what I thought. But what I will do is give the audience something new and fresh. Trey, you're going to face Adam Cole next week for his WWE Championship in a no-disqualification match. See? Maybe I'm not so bad after all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go find someone else I can sue to recoup my losses. This is a huge opportunity tonight for Trey as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Adam Cole for the WWE Championship in a no-disqualification match. On 
Honestly, I'm surprised Brooklyn put Trey in this position, especially after he got involved in the Kurt Angle Samoa Joe match last week. Everyone thinks they know Brooklyn and her intentions, but she said it herself. She's made an entire career defying expectations. It's what led her to success in mixed martial arts, and I predict it will also benefit her greatly in WWE. A series of strikes from one of the most prolific strikers in the game to be his next move. Trey has Adam Cole in trouble. Hold on, what is Samoa Joe doing out here? Whoa, what the heck? That makes no sense whatsoever. What are you doing? Cover him. I'm not going to win like that. Fine. Oh. And now Samoa Joe with the attack on Trey. It seems Samoa Joe wants Trey to win the match, and he's going to do anything he can to make it happen. Count it now. I'm not sure why Samoa Joe did what he did, but as a result, Trey is your new WWE Champion. I really have no explanation for this either. As far as we know, Samoa Joe has nothing but contempt for Trey, so why would he help him win the WWE Championship? Hopefully we'll get some answers soon. Damn it! I wanted to earn this. Now everyone's gonna look at me like I'm some kind of fluke champion. Again. I know you're frustrated, but maybe it's not that bad. Besides, if you defend it enough, then people will respect you. Seven years. Seven years ago, you took what was mine, and I never got to take it back. You know, a lot of significant life events can happen in that amount of time. Birthdays. Holidays, funerals, and I miss them all. Because for over 2,500 days, one thing has consumed me, revenge. I even augmented my body to ensure that when the time came, there would be nothing that stopped me from destroying you. So now, we're so close. I helped you win this championship for one reason only. So I can finally take back what you took from me. But that doesn't even make sense. It's not the same title. Don't. Don't say that. It's the same. It's exactly the same. Seven years and the surgery and the pain and I am going to take it back. Hey. Hey. You want to tell me what that was all about? I had nothing to do with it. You think I wanted to win the title like that? I don't think you give a damn as long as you're champion. I want my rematch. I promise I'll make this right. Okay, chump. <laughs> okay, Trey, how about we do that right now? No, Trey, Trey, let's go. <laughs> From the outside, my life looked pretty good. I was WWE Champion, and I was about to team with none other than Ronda Rousey in the Mixed Match Challenge. The truth is, I couldn't enjoy any of that. I had a maniac breathing down my neck who'd spent seven years planning my demise. But at least my title defense against Adam Cole would take place in a steel cage so that psychopath couldn't interfere. Or so I thought. It's not often that a newly crowned champion defends their title for the first time in a steel cage. But that's exactly the situation Trey finds himself in tonight against Adam Cole. And usually the purpose of a steel cage is to keep two opponents inside. But in this case, I think the intention is to keep Samoa Joe on the outside if he were to get involved. Honestly, after everything we've seen from Samoa Joe since he returned, I'm not sure this steel cage is enough to keep him at bay. A harsh impact. Stomping, ouch! Back handle finds its target. 
Regardless of how you feel about the tactics employed by Adam Cole, the man's ability when the bell rings is incredible. You will be hard pressed to find a more versatile competitor anywhere. I'm shocked. You finally got something right, Michael. The Panama City Playboy is a superb technician and can brawl with the best of them. Big splash! You gotta be kidding me. Adam Cole reverses, sending Trey straight into the steel cage. Trey looks like he's in severe pain. And right on cue, just as Adam Cole seems to have this match won, here comes Samoa Joe to try to stop him. Joe slams the cage door on Adam Cole. Joe is dead set on keeping the WWE Championship on Trey so he can take it from him after not getting his rematch seven years ago. Trey with a drop kick into the cage, sending Samoa Joe crashing to the floor. Trey isn't going to sit back and let Joe help him. Well, it's admirable, I guess, but I think he should take the help. It appears Red is out here to help get rid of Samoa Joe so Trey can show he can do this by himself. Don't feed into his ego, Red. If you were a real friend, you'd let him have any help he could get. Trey is equally determined to prove he's not a fluke champion. He wants to win this match on his own. Oh, what a counter. Oh, oh my God. Oh, what a nasty knee lift. Right now. Adam Cole isn't looking like much of a playboy now. Saxton, you've never seen a playboy in your entire life. Boom. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. What an unbelievable display of determination we're seeing here. He's certainly looking in command at the moment. He's mixing precision and physicality with his attacks here. Oh, Corey, he had loaded there. Ooh-wee. Ooh. Ooh, what a damaging blow. Lightning fast reflexes. Man, oh man. Two. That beaten and battered competitor standing tall inside that cage right now is your winner. I don't know if there's anybody in the back that can actually unseat this dominant champion. What a spectacular championship match it was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us. Great job defending your title against Adam Cole. Thanks. More importantly, I showed everyone I didn't need Samoa Joe's help to do it. You have anything left in the tank for your mixed match challenge later? Honestly, I'm running on fumes, so I'm kind of hoping Ronda carries our team tonight. Mm. By the way, do you even have a partner yet? No. Brooklyn's making me wait until the last minute to find out who it is. Typical. Well, whoever it is, we might have to face each other at some point, which is going to be weird. I know. But FYI, I just put win mixed match challenge on the list. And I plan on being the one who crosses it off. We'll see. I hope you're feeling alright after that steel cage match. Look, if you're worried about our match later, I'll be fine. Turns out I actually perform better with possibly cracked ribs. Just remember, the winning mixed match challenge team gets $500,000 to donate to whatever charity they want. I don't want to miss out on that because you've got your hands full with other things. My hands aren't full at all. Look completely empty. I even had time to think of an awesome team name. Team Rowdy Trey. You clearly just thought of that, so I think that proves my point about you being distracted. No, that took weeks of brainstorming. I swear, I even had a think tank put their heads together on it. Whatever, just make sure you bring your A-game later. The Mixed Match Challenge starts tonight and everyone else knows who they're teaming with. So when are you going to tell me who my partner is on my way to the ring? Oh, did I forget to assign you a partner? 
Must have slipped my mind. Yeah, I'm sure. To make it up to you, I'll let you choose your teammate. Great. I choose Seth Rollins. You didn't let me finish. I'll let you choose from a group of superstars that I've selected. Is Seth Rollins one of them? No. Your choices are Kurt Hawkins, who's now lost over 1,000 consecutive matches... Your old trainer, Riley Flash, who I have no doubt is in tremendous ring shape, especially after just flying in from Calgary on six connections. It was the cheapest fare I could get last minute. And finally, Drew McIntyre. You might remember he recently helped Becky Lynch acquire your SmackDown Live Women's Championship, so I'm sure you two would work really well together. I know it must be hard to pick from those three amazing options, but I need an answer now. See, when you're willing to put your gas station toilet seat of an attitude aside, we can work together after all. As the mixed match challenge kicks off, most teams have had weeks to prepare. However, due to Brooklyn Von Braun dragging her feet, the team formed just moments ago. This has to be a major disadvantage. I agree, not to mention they didn't even have time to come up with a cool team name. That should be the least of their concerns, Saxton. The real issue here is Riley Flash hasn't won a match in like 30 years, if ever. Red might as well be out there teaming with a sack of potatoes. Bang! Super kicks in stereo. Uh-oh. We're gonna see it. With power. Sit out, power bomb. What a knockout punch. Oh, oh man. Oh, she turns it around. Oh my gosh. What an uppercut. Oh, heavy duty right hand. Boom. Okay. Oh my gosh. What an uppercut. Drop it with precision. And here's a cover. I don't know how she keeps kicking out. Wow, Carmella somehow digs deep and finds a way to keep fighting. She's a beast. Not what she was looking for. Boom. Okay. The W is well in hand. Here we go for the win. One, two, three. Get this mixed tag match. Impressive victory for her here tonight. Let's not overcomplicate things. This business is simple. It's all about wins and losses. And it sure looks to me like somebody has figured that out. Don't adjust your TV, folks. This Vegas crowd really is this loud. Been a busy night for Trey as earlier. He defended his WWE Championship in a steel cage match on SmackDown Live. You have to admire his commitment to teaming with Ronda Rousey, but there is no way he's 100% going into this match. A smart champion would be resting up for their next title defense. Not out here competing in the mixed match challenge. But he can't get enough of the spotlight. And as a result, he's putting himself and his partner at risk. Nice. Oh, man. A barrage of strikes. And there's the Urinagi. Lanavan. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. Velveteen Dream is down, and it appears Trey and Ronda Rousey are going to attempt some kind of top rope double team maneuver. Ronda launches Trey into a somersault senton splash. Yeah, it looked like Ronda might have tweaked something. Maybe her ankle? And Trey gets the win for his team. I think you're right, Saxton. Ronda Rousey is definitely in pain.
You okay? No, I can't put weight on it. Ugh, I'm sorry. It's my fault. This appears to be a very costly victory for Team Rowdy Trey. This is on our WWE Champion. He was banged up from the cage match, and that caused the timing to be off when Ronda launched him into that senton splash. So now they're both hurt. I hope it was worth it for Trey. Well, you really blew it this time. Thanks to your screw up last week, the doctor just said that Rhonda has to pull out of the mixed match challenge. Damn it. But I've got some good news. I already found you a new partner. Let me guess. You found someone who hasn't competed in WWE in 30 years. Actually, I found someone who's never competed in WWE at all. Me! I'm stepping down as GM to become an active WWE superstar. What? I've been thinking about making the move to in-ring competitor for a while now, and this seemed like the perfect opportunity, especially with a chance to win money for charity. I just love giving back to the community whenever I can. Anyway, let me know if you want to talk strategy before our match tonight. Oh, and one more thing. I tied up some loose ends before I stepped down as GM. You're going to defend your WWE Championship against Samoa Joe on the special 1500th episode of SmackDown Live. In a submission match! Later, partner. I can't believe Brooklyn's a WWE superstar now. I can't believe I have to be her partner. It's good she no longer has any authority, but it feels like she's even more ingrained in our lives. At least it's now legal for you to punch her in the face. <laughs> Again, I have to be her partner. She's not worse than Riley. He wasn't exactly in his prime when he trained us almost 15 years ago. Not to mention, Brooklyn has him flying back and forth to Calgary on these crazy cheap budget airlines. He had to ride in the pet compartment on his last connection, and I think he came down with kennel cough. At least you got to choose him. I didn't have any say in this. It wasn't like I had a ton of good options. Look, all that aside, I just have a feeling this isn't going to end well for anyone. Well, at least I can still make the best of a bad situation and win some money for charity. Even if I have to get a dog vaccine, I still plan on winning the Mixed Match Challenge. Same here. Minus the vaccine part. Brooklyn is disease-free as far as I can tell. Wait a second, it appears Brooklyn wants Trey to attempt the same double-team maneuver that injured Ronda Rousey. Is she trying to prove she could do it better? I don't know, but it looks like Trey's not quite sure about this after what happened to Ronda. Perfect execution by the American heroes. An impressive win for the new team of Trey and Brooklyn Von Braun. I'm still not sure what to think about these two teaming. It's very strange. It looks like Trey's still trying to get used to it as well. I told you guys a hundred times, Brooklyn's a professional. She likes winning much more than she dislikes Trey. And here comes Trey's best friend, Red, for their mixed match challenge match. Hey, good luck. Well, that was awkward. You don't want to read too much in anything, but it certainly looked like Red just ignored Trey altogether. Well, it's obvious Red is upset about Trey teaming with Brooklyn, but she'd better get over it fast or it's going to end up costing her team this match. As this mixed match challenge match begins, we have to consider the possibility that Red's team end up facing Trey and Brooklyn Von Braun at some point. Well, given what we know about Brooklyn's ability to get under Red's skin, that could definitely be a volatile situation. You would think that since this whole thing's for charity, that everyone would be able to manage their emotions, but if Brooklyn triggers hot head Red, all bets are off. Anticipated that attack perfectly. Belly of back suplex. Nothing's gonna stop her now. She has become relentless at this point. Bulldog. It's not looking good for Ruby Riot here. 
Ruby Riot is anti-establishment. She's an anarchist and someone who takes aim at those born with a silver spoon in their mouths. When it comes to Ruby, it is down with the system. Oh my gosh! What an uppercut! Good. And this is gonna be it! One, two, three! This gets tags all over. What a victory! Here are your winners! Ree and Riley Flash! Well, that one was over before it even started. You simply cannot deny that these two have amazing chemistry, Michael. After a couple more wins for both our teams, Trey and I would be in a position we'd never been in before. Standing across the ring from each other as opponents in the finals of the Mixed Match Challenge. Good luck tonight. Seriously. Yeah, you too. Do you mean that? Because it seems like you can't bring yourself to say the actual words. I can totally say it, but now that you told me to, it won't mean as much. Come on, just say it. Good luck. Hey, look your partner how convenient you're talking to the opposition before our match you do realize i could give them a competitive advantage <laughs> my team doesn't need an advantage to beat someone who's had less than five matches i'm pretty sure i had less than five matches when i was tapping you out in high school and tonight will be exactly the same except this time a whole lot more people will see me embarrass you Come on, we need to discuss what we're going to do with our prize money after we win. I was thinking we donate it to victims of identity heft. It's when people identify as skinny, but they're actually really fat. I think Red might have it. This is it, the finals of the Mixed Match Challenge. One of these teams will take home $500,000 to donate to a charity of their choice. Don't bury the lead, Cole. The charity part's nice, but the real story here is that best friends Red and Trey are facing each other for the first time ever. Things could get very interesting. Normally, I think you guys are just trying to stir up drama, but Red and Trey have definitely seemed a bit off lately, and this match certainly won't help matters. Changes her fortune there. Oh, nice right hand. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Oh, man. Look at these shots. She's starting to look concerned. What a series of strikes from one of the most prolific strikers in the game. Evading possible disaster there. She got out of the way there. Her evasion techniques are on point. She's slowing down here, guys. Slowing down. She's stuck in park, Cole. Hold on. Delivered with force. Oh, my gosh. What an uppercut. Boom. Kick. Good night, nurse. The shoulders are down. One, two. Kick out of two. That was a very near fall. Wow, I thought this was over. She's looking relentless now. She's executing on her plan perfectly. Striking combination. Showing some quickness. And this match can change that fast. Ouch. Overhand right lands. Ooh. Oh. 
What a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. High angle belly to back suplex. Drop kick hits the mark. Oh my gosh. What an uppercut for the victory here. Former trainer Riley Flash are your mixed match challenge winners. I think Red might be up for sainthood because she just performed a miracle in winning this with Riley Flash. That's the only way to explain this. I just hope that now that this is over, there won't be any hard feelings between Red and Trey. They've been through too much together to let something like this get between them. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up with you riding with her? Relax. I offered him a ride since we're both going to the gym. Look, I know we usually ride together, but I wanted to get some extra training in since Samoa Joe basically wants to strangle me to death with his crazy cyborg arm at SmackDown 1500. I'd be happy to help you work on your submissions. It's really the only way you're going to survive the Coquina Clutch. I mean, that little reversal trick you taught him might have worked in their first match, but let's face it, he needs some real training. After all, my MMA record was 24-2. and two. The two losses were DQs for eye gouging, so really, I was undefeated. You training me is a great idea. It could help me survive Samoa Joe. Who knows? Maybe even beat him. Good. We'll get started right away. And by the way, I didn't get a chance to congratulate you on winning the Mixed Match Challenge. It actually inspired me. To what? Quit? No. Your donation of the $500,000 to that animal shelter in our hometown got me thinking. What can Brooklyn do to help? So I decided to donate a million dollars of my own personal money to the shelter. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, they're naming an entire wing after me. Did you get a wing? Not that I know of. Yeah, I guess 500 k isn't really wing money. But hey, I have the director's info. I'll see if they can at least name something after you. Maybe a maintenance closet or a bathroom stall. I'll let you know when we can get started on that training, partner. So what, are you friends with her now? No, it's not like that. Well, it seems like that. I mean, first you're riding with her, and now you're training with her? Did you forget this is the same person who tormented us for 20 years? I got a ride with her one time. And besides, she's changed, okay? I mean, she just donated a million dollars of her own money to an animal shelter. Bad people don't do that. How naive are you? She's obviously lying about the donation to try and get under my skin. There's no way she would ever actually do something good like that. She's always been fake, and this is no different. Can't assume any of that. I'm not assuming she's a terrible person. I know that. And I thought you did too. Come on. That mural is kind of freaking me out. It feels like you're watching me from every angle. I am. But focus here. So when Samoa Joe gets you in the Coquina Clutch this time... I, how do you know he'll get me in it? It's a submission match, which means he'll be going for it early and often, so you have to be prepared. And what I was going to say before you interrupted me... Sorry, won't happen again. What I was going to say is your little trick you used against him ten years ago when you rolled backwards to get the win isn't going to work this time. He'll be ready. And even if you pulled it off, it won't do any good because this is a submission Rivalry match. match. Rivalry submission match. Right. So I'm Samoa Joe, and I'm going to put you in the Coquina Clutch. Try to escape. Mm. Oh, I tap, I tap, I tap. Uh, that was uh, pathetic. I know. How am I ever going to beat Samoa Joe? I mean, once she cinches in that arm around my neck, it's all over. Goodbye, WWE Championship. Goodbye, Trachea. Goodbye, Earth. Hello, big ring in the sky. Hopefully. Okay, stop. You're spiraling. It's not about his arm, it's about his legs. Huh? I studied hours of footage of Samoa Joe locking in the Coquina Clutch, you're welcome, and I discovered a hidden flaw that's going to allow you to counter it and beat him. Give me your phone. Voice password? Trey and Peyton Royce forever? Voice recognition volume too low. Please try again. Trey and Peyton Royce forever.
It's a joke. Please don't tell her. Anyway, like I said, I watched a lot of tape on Samoa Joe, and I discovered this. Watch his ankles. See how he crosses them? He does it every time. That's your opening to beat him. I, I, I don't get it. Of course you don't. Let me show you. Put me in the coquina clutch and make sure you cross your ankles like Joe does. was that? The secret to not getting the life choked out of you and walking away with your WWE championship. <sighs> wow, this is weird to say with all our history, but I don't know what I'd be doing right now without your help. I guess I've been in a charitable mood lately. Well, seriously, thanks for teaching me this. So, I guess we're good to go now? Are you kidding? You haven't actually learned how to do the counter yet. On your back, we're going to start with the hip motion. I'll film on your phone so you can watch it back later. It locked again. Trey and Peyton Royce forever! Welcome to the special 1500th episode of SmackDown Live! SmackDown Live has been the home of some amazing matches over the years, and tonight we continue that tradition with the long-awaited, much-anticipated battle between Trey and Samoa Joe. This submission match for the WWE Championship is seven years in the making, going back to Trey's debut when he shocked the WWE Universe and Samoa Joe. But tonight on SmackDown 1500, will Joe finally get his revenge? Hey, what are you doing? Studying my training footage. I think I actually have a chance tonight thanks to Brooklyn. Yeah, about her. I don't want to get into it again. I need to focus on my match. I actually wanted to apologize. I might have been acting a little crazy lately. A little? Okay, slightly more than a little. I called the animal shelter that Brooklyn said she donated the money to and turns out she wasn't lying. See? I told you she's changed. I think I just got caught up with us competing against each other in the mixed match challenge. And then I felt like I was losing my best friend to pretty much the worst person I could imagine. But maybe she's not the worst person after all. There's probably some terrible dictators or criminals on death row who are slightly worse. That's very big of you to say that. So you should be cool with the fact that Brooklyn is going to be in my corner tonight then, right? I need her out there to coach me through the technique she taught me. Totally cool with that. Not bothered at all. Besides, I have a big announcement to focus on. About what? Well, I decided to get back to concentrating on the list. And there's one thing on there I always wanted to accomplish, but it never seemed possible. Especially when Brooklyn was GM. No offense to your new BFF. But since this is a very special episode of SmackDown Live, it's the perfect time to make it happen. Good luck tonight. Seriously. Hey, you finally said it. And I meant it. Tonight, we celebrate 1,500 episodes of SmackDown Live. On nights like this, we look back at the amazing superstars who helped us get here. For me, personally, when I was an awkward teenager, the thought that I could someday do this seemed like a total long shot. But I was inspired by women like Beth Phoenix, The Bellas, Natalia, and Mickey James. Around that time, I created this list of goals I'd someday want to accomplish if I ever made it to WWE. Well. I think I've more than made it. But there's one thing on this list that all those women I mentioned accomplished. But I never have. Because it's kind of impossible now. But if I've learned anything on my journey, it's that nothing is truly unattainable. The goal I'm referring to is winning the title that I grew up watching. The WWE Divas Championship. Like I said, Kinda hard to do considering it hasn't existed in almost 15 years. But I'm proposing 
that WWE bring the Divas Championship back so I can honor the women who blazed a path for me and prove that no dream is ever hopeless or unimaginable. Wait, what? And you want me to tell her right now? I'm sorry, but I was just told to inform you that the Divas Championship is already spoken for. Already spoken for? It hasn't existed in over a decade. How is that even possible? They said you would hear more in the very near future. That's all I know. What just happened? I have no idea, but apparently someone in the back has other plans for the Divas Championship. This match between Trey and Samoa Joe is finally happening tonight on SmackDown. 1500 after nearly a decade of anticipation. I don't think Trey was anticipating this as much as Samoa Joe, especially considering it's a submission match, which definitely favors Joe in his Coquina clutch. Now let's not ignore the fact that Trey has Brooklyn Von Braun in his corner tonight, who could be the difference maker. Supposedly the ex-MMA star has been working with Trey on his submission defense in preparation for this match. Looks like we've got a bit of an argument here. Come on now, now's not the time for this. Not sure how he's even standing. Look at Samoa Joe just messing with his opponent's head right now. And it's reversed. Paying for that mistake. Look at the agility. And Samoa Joe locks in the Coquina Clutch. Trey's attempting a counter. What's the matter? Not like you planned. It looked like Trey attempted a counter to the Coquina Clutch that Brooklyn must have taught him, but for whatever reason, it just didn't work. It's over. It may not be the Universal Championship that Trey defeated him for seven years ago, but Samoa Joe gets the vindication he was looking for, as he is the new WWE Champion. What the hell? No, no, no! This is awful! Was this some kind of setup all along? It had to be a hindsight's 2020, but Brooklyn Von Braun's change of heart was way too good to be true. Saxton, you said Brooklyn was going to be the difference maker tonight, and you were right for once. If she and Samoa Joe have formed an alliance, and it would appear that they have, Red and Trey's lives are going to be changed forever. <laughs>